lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout. Today is Friday, and you know what that means. Right, it's the premiere of Flashback Friday, a series within Cartoon Hangout where I rewatch older cartoons and do reviews for them. I decided on the Powerpuff Girls first, because not only is it being rebooted next year, but it's also one of my favorite cartoons from my childhood. Now, episode one is divided into two parts, like many cartoons were back then, and still are today. We'll tackle Insect Inside first. This episode probably gave plenty of kids the goosebumps or nightmares when it first premiered. Not only do cockroaches look gross, but having one run across your foot or even climb up you is a disgusting experience. However, Professor Utonium seems intent on teaching the girls not to kill an insect just because they look gross. A decent enough lesson, if it weren't for the villain that they were about to face. Roach Coach. That's something I believe was common back when the show first uh, came out, the characters would be taught a valuable lesson only for it to be tested soon after learning it. Boy, was it tested. Roach Coach learns from a cockroach minion that the Powerpuff Girls wouldn't touch them. So he moves forward with his plan to take over the world, I guess. I mean, yeah, with cockroaches, but knowing how the townspeople reacted, I'd say it's a, pro uh, it's a foolproof plan. Of course, things don't go so well when Blossom scoops up the roaches and Roach Coach reveals himself and frees his roaches in order to form a giant monster made of cockroaches. Yuck. Nightmare fuel, anyone? Only a, only a couple of your tears. The girls do eventually win, and it's revealed that Roach Coach is actually a roach piloting a robot. Go figure. Moving on to the second half of the episode, we have Powerpuff Bluff, which is probably among the most iconic episodes of the show. I'm always seeing images of those three creepy criminals dressed up as the Powerpuff Girls around the internet. After being successfully foiled three times, the Power Bluffs end up disguising themselves as the Powerpuff Girls in order to get out of jail. How are we going to look like them Powerpuff Girls? Let's see, we're gonna have to use every resource in this joint. Guys, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Seriously? What were those costumes doing in their jail cell? Not to mention, I think one of the criminals needs to work out some of his identity issues. Well, stupid as always, the mayor orders the arrest of the Powerpuff Girls, and apparently it's fine for a SWAT team to storm a kindergarten. The girls do eventually defeat their imposters, but... They have to return to jail for previously breaking out. Back in the day, I don't think we really got any origins in the first episodes of many cartoons. The characters were always just together. Of course, you could always argue that the intro to Powerpuff Girls did a decent enough job of explaining how the girls came to be. Either way, this was a good start to the Powerpuff Girls cartoon. It certainly gave us one of the more memorable moments of the series. This episode is also memorable for its Dexter cameo during the girls' nap time. I think when he's not inventing crazy contraptions, he's also attending the Powerpuff Girls' school. Now, the Powerpuff Girls isn't really a plot-heavy cartoon, at least this early in the series, but it's certainly a very entertaining one, and I'm glad to discover that it still holds up after all these years. I'll be looking forward to seeing how the reboot in 2016 manages to capture the original's magic. Well, that's been my flashback review of Powerpuff Girls Episode 1. Let me know what you thought of the episode or what your favorite moments were. Thanks for watching. Take care.